Welcome back once again. This is Nick Agria. Uh, trigonometric identities. Uh, this is just an introduction and then I will go further and uh, uh, more complicated. Even add identities. Uh, for example, if I'm going to show tangent negative, here it is. For example, this is our theta and here is our negative theta. You know that uh, you know that here tangent theta is equal to positive because it is in the first quadrant but tangent negative theta is equal to negative because it is on the fourth quadrant tangent is only positive on the first quadrant and on the third quadrant that's the reason why the same is through with sine so we have sine theta that is the first quadrant, sine negative theta, that is on the fourth quadrant, then we have negative. Ah, sorry, that's negative. Sorry, if I put that, I, I didn't think, I should, I should put positive there. But, as you can see here, cosine and second, we have cosine theta, is equal to positive because it is in the first quadrant and cosine negative theta is also positive on the fourth quadrant uh, i forgot to tell you that sine is only positive in the upper quadrants the first and second quadrant and uh, cosine is only positive in the right quadrants the first and the fourth quadrant that's why it doesn't matter for cosine if you take the negative or the positive it's the same value okay but it is not the same with tangent and sine and their um, reciprocals okay some more identities reciprocal identities sine that is cosecant and we have cosine we have second tangent and cotangent and vice versa there another that another Identities that we need to know is the, the quotient identities. I will show you briefly here. For example, we have this um, unit circle and we have this is our x and y, this point. So this is y, this is x, and we have one there. So we have cosine theta is equal to the adjacent side x divided by 1 of course but sine theta is equal to y and tangent we have the opposite side y divided by the adjacent side x and we know that uh, y is equal to sine theta and uh, x is cosine theta so tangent is tangent theta sorry is equal to sine theta over cosine theta and cotangent is the reciprocal that's why you get, you get the reciprocal here also okay another identity is that i want to discuss is by using this triangle okay if this is 60 and this is 30 degrees. We know that this is one, a 2, 1, and the square root of 3. Okay? Uh, I've used this before, so you, I hope you remember. So if I have cosine uh, 60 degrees, that is 1 half. Adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse. As you can see here, that is also equal to sine 30 degrees. And if we have uh, cosine 30 degrees is equal to, that is square root of 3 divided by 2. And that is also 
sine 60 degrees. Now, if we're going to generalize that, we have cosine pi or 90. We can start with 90 first. 90 degrees minus 30 degrees is equal to sine 30 degrees and sine 90 degrees minus 30 degrees is equal to cosine 30 degrees so if if we um, take a variable of this we have cosine cosine 90 degrees minus theta is equal to sine theta or sine 90 degrees minus theta is equal to cosine theta so remember this it can be written also as cosine pi over 2 minus theta is equal to sine theta and sine pi over 2 minus theta is equal to cosine theta okay more identities trigonometric identities the pythagorean identities okay how do we know this? Okay, Pythagorean says that if we have x squared plus y squared is equal to the hypotenuse. And we know that x cosine theta is equal to x and sine theta is equal to y. So we have cosine squared x plus sine squared uh, not theta x theta theta is equal to one rearranging them i don't know why but you can write this way it doesn't matter but if you want to rearrange according to this it is also all right but because we have x squared plus y squared is called is equal to one from this, if we subtract both sides of the equation by sine squared theta, sine, then we have cosine squared theta is equal to 1 minus sine squared theta. And we know from, from algebra, this is the difference of two squares, then we have 1 minus sine theta. And then 1 plus sine theta. Okay. And then if we divide both sides of the equation by, if I'm going to use it here now. Oh, another is if we subtract both sides of the equation by cosine, then we have sine squared theta is equal to 1 minus cosine squared theta. That's another. So this one and this one. You can also use the difference of two squares okay but if we're going to for example divide both sides of the equation by cosine cosine theta squared theta sorry then this will become tangent and this will become one and this a uh, cosine theta this will become second okay because we have the reciprocal identities so 1 divided by cosine is second there you go okay and the same the same principle for this one if we divide both sides of the equation or all the terms of the equation by sine instead then we will get this identity okay and in my next video i will be discussing some more examples or some more some examples um, about the identities that i discussed and i hope to see you in my next video also have a nice day thank you for watching